The big problem that we're all facing today is that the United States is falling behind other countries in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And that's a big problem, so the question is what do we do? Our solution that we have is a project called Imagine Mars, where we ask students to imagine and design a community on the planet Mars. Our area is Arabia Terra, and um, the reason in which we chose it was because it's a flat surface, it's like a valley. Here, um, this is my habitat on Mars, but first we have the map here. So pretty much explaining like our position and our whole purpose of setting up. So right here is a place called Hellas Planet, and it's like the lowest surface on Mars. But it was somewhere in this area. Okay, yeah. somewhere in this area. the equator. Why did you guys choose that particular location on Mars to put your community? Well, since we're on Mars and it's farther away from the sun, we want to try and get as much sunlight and heat as we can. Imagine Mars fits into this process called project-based learning. That means we give the students a task that they need to achieve. And in order to achieve that task, they need to learn things along the way. The task that we're giving them is they need to build a community on Mars. If we go to another planet, we might as well start fresh and yeah, healthier. That's why I come in because I am the head of botany and agriculture, and I just I'm in charge of like the plants and well, we're gonna eat our nutrition plants, which we won't be eating meat. You know, we're gonna be healthy in the Mars. <laughs> they started on this process, this exploration process, to look into their own community figure out the things that they liked about it and things that they would change. And they worked with architects, took tours of these amazing places like the Center for Green Technology, and they saw how green technology was being used throughout the city. And when we went to the Green Technology Center, they had a wall of plants. They, they didn't grow in the soil. They grew it like out of water, the hydroponics. So that's what we basically use so we can grow our trees, vegetables, we also went to the conservatory, and the air quality was so perfect in there, and it was all captured off. So I guess if we have good captured off air, maybe we can filter that air into tanks. To keep fit, and also to uh, conserve energy and uh, build up energy, we have bikes hooked up to uh, a main battery. That's a secondary power source. The students had amazing ideas. They created a lot of solutions to living on the planet Mars but it didn't end there. They had to visualize those ideas using 3D architectural software. And they only had a short time to do it, but their energy and their excitement about their ideas really gave them momentum to learn this software. And they went from not ever having touched or used this software before to coming up with these amazing designs that, that we see in this project. This habitat is called Zero Calvin. First you'll notice this tower this is called the Solar Tower. Solar Tower is a 90 foot high tower full of photovoltaic film. We up here, we had a solar panel. It helped with the heating in the air. We have an underground drilling system. We drill into the surface of the ice. Once we get to the ice layer, the ice surface, which is like a um, subterranean ice surface, because it's underground, it, the, te the tip of the drill heats the surface of the ice absorbs it through the drill, and it holds it in these capsules. These capsules, they have a UV light at the top of them to destroy any type of bacteria. This was exciting. This was something to do for summer that wouldn't have happened without Imagine Mars. And um, it was something that they can go back to school and report during the summer, this is what I did, and they can write a paper on it, and they can apply the knowledge straight into the classroom, which is really great because it emphasizes, as I said before, careers that normally wouldn't be exposed to kids, um, technology, um, science, and all the other careers. And the kids now are talking about being architects, some of them being doctors, some of them being um, scientists themselves or engineers. So it's, it's really just a great career opening. If you look at their project and the amount of time that they actually were working with the software, I mean, there's a major transformation in their knowledge and in their skills 
And it just goes to show you what can happen when you give students a unique and engaging opportunity to learn.